and some more budget related news well one community which will certainly be looking forward to budget day is the sme sector davina munro from the starting up team brings us the wish list of both smes and venture capitalists as we approach the big budget day i rise to present the union budget for 2010-11 Though Budget 2010 did announce an increase in SME fund allocation and clarity on limited liability partnerships, one year later SMEs remain disappointed with the level of execution. They were planning to, you know, start GST rollout, which has not happened. The direct tax code has not happened. So nothing has been per se implemented which addresses our industry. Venkat Raman, who runs an SME consultancy named Wealth Tree, tells us that this year the prime focus of concern for SMEs will be on rising input costs. Top two problems uh, that they have is rising input costs, and uh, most of that is really uh, commodity driven. So if you look at metal prices, whether it's uh, ferrous or non-ferrous metals, uh, which is really a primary ingredient for most uh, SMEs on the manufacturing side. or you look at labor costs uh, you know which are the which is really the primary ingredient for most smes on the services side uh, both of these have been going up technology players like iweb also cite a lack of support for product innovation as one of their key concerns their wish list from budget 2011 is a clear one tax benefits to startups okay innovation product or you know if you are doing innovating some new technology we need some impetus to come from the government or from the banks or from the you know public sector banks the private sector is not looking at us without collateral we are not getting loans that is not going to help build startups in the country something else smes are hoping for is a fixed allocation from all government projects rajin kumar editor of trade magazine sme world believes that this is something that can certainly provide a fillip to the sector psus should be brought under the purview of the public procurement policy at least they must reserve uh, 20% of their procurement for SMEs it will be a big help for SMEs another section of the ecosystem that will be listening keenly on monday is the investor community apart from clarification on the mauritius investor tax haven issue vc firms like nexus too have a long wish list from budget 2011 streamlining of the fci uh, uh, re, you know a regime both in terms of the sectors that we can invest in as well as the registration process a uh, second would be some form of uh, tax benefits uh, for long term investing particularly in sectors that are innovation r&d and skill building oriented and the third uh, would be you know some sort of uh, benefits in and incentives for the whole food security and the agriculture supply chain clearly both smes and the investor community will be looking forward to the budget with bated breath clearly an overflowing wish list for both smes and investors from this budget but come monday another big issue they will both be looking for more clarity on is the much awaited sme exchange now the bse and nse have spoken about it but will it be implemented this year well if there is more clarity on this topic then both the smes and the investors will be happy even if all the other wishes aren't granted Still ahead, if you're looking to just uh, get ready for the budget, but.